We need more bees. They're so cute. So we added in 15 more new bees in a new Minecraft update. Nether bees, frost bees, digger bees, obsidian bees, and yes, even creeper bees. And they all come with their own unique drops that update Minecraft in awesome ways. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Check it out. So we start with the nether bee, which more importantly starts with the nether flower, but more on that soon. This is a rare new flower you can find in the nether specifically, and upon breaking the block underneath the flower, your nether bee will spawn on it. Now this guy's got some very special abilities. First of all, check it out. He can sting you an infinite amount of times. More importantly, if the bee happens to be near any zombie pigmen, it has the ability to anger those zombie pigmen and make them, oh boy, angry at you. On top of that, it will make the closest zombie pigmen have extra strength, knockback resistance, health, and everything else. So as you can see, we're in some big trouble here. Oh my gosh! Most importantly, this nether bee has 50 health on it. So you're gonna have to deal a lot of swipes at this guy if you wanna have even a shot at surviving the onslaught. Oh my gosh, he's coming for me, quick, run! Okay, so we're gonna have to be very quick and try and take this bee out as fast as we possibly can. Oh my gosh! Guys, I think I'm gonna die! Ah, run! Look at the pigs! They're coming so quickly for me. I think you get the idea. So we're in creative mode and we're just gonna kill this bee so that you can show exactly what happens when he dies. Well, he dies. Now you're gonna wanna make sure you keep the nether flower on you and thankfully there's plenty over here because it does have a very special ability. First of all, with the flower in hand after defeating the nether bee, you can replace it again without worrying about another bee falling in and spawning on top of it. Furthermore, it sets any mobs on top of it on fire, which you just caught a glimpse of right here. Go on, show him an example. Good boy. Yo, he's getting real cozy. Oh, this can act as a defensive barrier, which is gonna be fantastic at keeping nearby mobs at bay, or at least setting them on fire, which should make handling them a little bit easier. Not too much though, guys, stay away, please. They can also burn mobs in auto farms without destroying the drops that they have associated with them. See, watch, check this out, adorable little chicken. Look at you! Ah, see? The mob dies instantly, and we got ourselves some cooked chicken without needing to worry about the flames deleting the item as well, because the fire disappears the moment the mob does, too. Check it out, pork chops on deck! But let's take it to the next bee, the frost bee. Ooh hoo hoo! Actually, here's one right here. Look at you, stuck? No, like literally, this bee is stuck frozen in ice. To fight it, all you gotta do is break the ice. No, literally, just talk to it a little bit. So we're gonna break this ice, and this bee is now free. Yo, where you going, dude? Talk to me. Hey. Yo, where's he going? Come on back down. Now, this bee also has unlimited stings, but more importantly, every time you swing at it, you will be hit with a frostbite effect, which will keep you in place, which makes it very difficult for you to avoid attacks by this guy. And that goes for more than just sword swings. Literally just attacking this bee will cause you to have frostbite wherever you go. Please, take it easy. We're just gonna have to take him out. You gotta go, dude. <laughs> oh wow, he can't make up his mind if he wants to attack me now. Get, I, come on, perfect. Now did you see that? We actually got a special new drop. It's known as the Ice Book, and it has a very unique ability. More on the book in a second, but if you're looking to kill the frost bee without presenting any danger to yourself, you're gonna have to get a little bit creative in how you do it. So we've got a frost bee that's stuck right there, and we've got our new friend, an anvil, who, with any luck, should take out this bee. I, I think I gotta get rid of the ice first. So we're gonna have to be very quick about this. Do that, yep, perfect. Ah, he's already mad, great. That's not what I had in mind. <laughs> oh, that killed him, well that's good. Frost book's in hand, it's time to use him. If you were to throw a crossbow as well as one of these ice books on top of an anvil, it will get enchanted and have a new ability attached to it, known as icicles. If you were to attack a hostile mob, or even any mob for that matter, with the icicle effect, the creature will actually be frozen in place, similar to the frostbite effect we saw the bee using on us just a second ago. It doesn't last forever, so you might need to make sure that you are firing nice and good with your aim, and then, can take him out at a distance safely. Next B, the obsidian B. Any Minecraft veterans know that when you combine a lava source block with water, it will turn that block into obsidian. Well, it works similarly with our ice bees. 
We just need to break the ice that the bee is in, let the lava hit it for just a split second, and just like that, our obsidian bee is ready to go. Uh, also, is on fire. Look at him, he's so happy to see us. Hi! So check this guy out, right? He's so heavy that he pretty much sticks as close to the ground as possible, and so heavy that any mobs caught directly underneath of him are crushed instantly. Look at this, oh my gosh! This is the best pet to have around when you've got some nearby mobs. But, you can opt to kill the bee as well. Now this bee also has 50 health as well as unlimited stingers involved. But, when you kill this guy, you're gonna be met with a fantastic amount of obsidian. In fact, 47 obsidian. Not bad. Who'd have thought ice polar biomes would be the new best place to get obsidian from? Anyways, we move on to the next bee, the digger bee. This button's going to take us to the middle of a cave system where we can find this guy roaming around. When mining below Y equals 20, you might start coming across said digger bee. Now the digger bee himself mines through a one by one hole. Rather than spending our time trying to find him, we're just gonna use this book to spawn in a digger bee. Check out this puppy as he goes through one by one, deleting any blocks in his path. More importantly though, if you throw a strength potion at this bee, it will start clearing three by three blocks wherever it goes. Oh my gosh, you can barely see him. Whoa, do you hear him? Look at him. <laughs> oh, he just deleted the chest completely. Oh my gosh, you are the best mining companion ever. Wow, I'd be very nervous to even try attacking this guy. Oh boy. Yeah, probably not a good idea, because now he's going to start coming for me and deleting all of the blocks. Oh my gosh, he's literally digging me a shallow grave. Stop! Bad. Thank goodness. Oh, he's another one behind me! He brought his friend! Come on, dude! Not what I wanted. We're down to bedrock level. If he gets any closer... Ooh, that was close. We could have fallen to the void. It's probably better to just have him as a pet. You see, you can lead him, and then look. And use them to dig away at everything that's nearby. Oh gosh! We're just gonna move on to number five. The queen bee, that's right. Queen bee is also like a boss, which has a 1% chance of spawning in when you mine a beehive. And it also has 100 health. Now the queen bee has a whole mess of features involved. Oh my goodness, you stay away. Every single time you attack the queen bee, it will teleport behind you. The queen bee can also spawn in worker bees that have a one hit kill. Namely, you can one hit kill them, or the moment these bees sting you, they will die instantly as well. Plus, the queen bee can trap you in honeycomb blocks on top of being able to sting you infinitely. See, stay away, I. Now this is gonna be a tough one to kill because it's constantly teleporting behind you and attempting to sting you essentially at all times. 100, I my goodness, 100 health on this thing. If anything, the honeycomb's a good thing because it gives you a chance to heal up a little bit. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take it. Plus, it's a good source of apparently a lot of, <laughs> a lot of honeycomb blocks. Yikes, get the heck away. Almost dead though, thank goodness. And on death, it drops a very special potion. So what's all the buzz about with this bee potion, huh? Well, drinking this potion will give you the power to fly. Check this thing out, baby. We are flying around for one full minute. Whatever direction we look, that is the direction we take off in. Oh yeah, baby. You can stop the flying at any time by simply sneaking, and just like that, you will fall to the ground. We might need that for number six, the creeper bee. Have y'all ever wanted to be chased by a flying creeper that doesn't explode when it dies? No? Oh, well, you should probably avert your gaze then. You'll start with a regular bee, a charged creeper, and then that charged creeper will have to explode nearby this bee, and oop! Assuming the bee doesn't die, it'll turn into this mess! A creeper bee! Oh, <laughs> which will continuously chase- Oh! Which will continuously chase you around, exploding when it gets nearby. And it doesn't die on explosion. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? Dealing with this thing constantly. Oh boy, yo, this, <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this one. Oh my, wow. We're gonna have to take this guy out with a crossbow as soon as humanly possible. Load up the crossbow. Are we loaded? Die! Got him, I think. Is he dead? Let me check. Nope, still not dead. Still just hanging out right there. Please! Oh, he's stuck on the ledge. Perfect. My goodness. Imagine dealing with that thing flying around. We're gonna do it in creative mode so you can get an idea of how explosive this thing is at all times. Oh wow, it is literally just causing us to blow up in every which way. 
Uh, oh, wow, dive bombs. Dude, worst day. Hold on, can we use this guy to clear through a mountain really fast? Yeah, little worried, little worried, dude. Uh, please. Oh, go easy on me, dude. Oh, look, he's stuck. Yo, he sucks. He's the worst. Hey, oh, uh. Yeah, I'd recommend you not get too close to this sucker. If you do manage to kill this thing from afar, though, you'll be met with a very special item on death. Well, on the bee's death. An explosive honeycomb. Ooh. You can throw this explosive honeycomb, and it will cause explosions, assuming it lands nice and easy, and a pretty decent-sized explosion to boot. Sorry about this, Betsy. Furthermore, you can take this explosive honeycomb, add it to a beehive to get a very special explosive beehive, yes. And so if this beehive is mined, looted, or a bee enters it, it will also explode instantly. We move on to the ender bee, number seven, which means we're here in the end. Now the ender bee can be obtained by bringing a bee to the end and then throwing an ender pearl at them. <laughs> Perfect, so now we've got our ender bee in hand. Well, not in hand, thankfully, that would be very bad. This ender bee is capable of teleporting all around wherever he is, and what's more, with any luck, we should see another one of the ender bee's powers. The ability for the bee to steal blocks that it finds nearby. Look at you. You can't tell me this guy isn't the most adorable thing you've ever seen. Wow. Oh, I love him. Oh, I just put it down. Now it's time for you to die. <laughs> Uh-oh. Where'd he go? Oh, boy. Uh oh, is he mad at me? You mad, bro? Oh, boy. Yo, decent amount of health on you. Ender bees have a chance of dropping a honey pearl, which is a honey-covered ender pearl. And essentially the way these work is any mobs caught nearby your honey pro being thrown will be teleported with you. Oh boy. Where's the turtles? I hear them taking damage. Turtles! What happened? Do you know what happened? Oh boy. Okay, good. I saved one. Oh gosh! This is all bad news all over the place. Oh great, now I'm dead. Up next is the diamond bee. You've got a 10% chance of a diamond bee spawning in if you mine a diamond ore found underneath a beehive. Every once in a while, you'll just get more diamonds. All right, so we got one, perfect. Look at you, you are a shiny little wonder. You can use this bee to great effect. You can use your diamond bee to restore durability on your diamond tools by throwing it. So check out the durability on my axe, my sword, and my shovel down here. Throwing it right on top will cause it to restore durability of these objects. Check it out now. As you can see right here, they are all looking way more durability-ified. Yes, baby. And on top of that, they also have a new effect enchantment known as Pollinate. Now, if you were to kill this adorable little guy, you'd also get a new special ability, or rather, in this case, a drop. It's known as the Honeycomb Diamond. Eating this special item will give you a whole mess of potion effects. Check it out. Night vision, absorption, strength, haste, and a serious health boost that all last for one minute in length. So now you're ready to take on a whole bunch of mobs with your pollinated weapons. Our ninth bee is the bee villager. The bee villager. There's a 10% chance of a villager spawning in every time a villager would have. And here's one of them. Oh, gosh, right there. Man, you are a sight for sore eyes. Put on some clothes, dude. If you get close enough to this bee, you can actually trade the bee as well. Here, come on. Give me what I need. There we go. Villager. As you can see here, we've got some very special trades. One emerald for two wither roses, one for 12 lilies of the valley. You can even get a cookie flower, more on that later, or a whole stack of emeralds to get another flower. Yo, they going to town on this flower, speaking of. Hey, yo, let me get some of those wither roses, baby. Wow, look how cute they are. <laughs> Said no one ever. Yo, what are they trying to do? Our 10th bee is the pony bee. To get the pony bee, we'll need to feed uh, 64 honeycombs to our horse friend here, and then we're gonna have to find a bee and run right into him. Thankfully, we've got a spawn egg right here to take care of that issue. What's good, baby? Wait, what? It wasn't supposed to kill my horse. Hey, come back here. Yo, that bee literally has a saddle on it. Yo, I gotta catch you. Okay, and just like that, we are riding along on our pony bee. And wherever we look, we can actually fly using this bee. Beautiful. Oh, wow. You can go through rings. Kind of hard to control, but, you know, what do you expect? You were never supposed to be able to ride bees. <laughs> Yo, this is cool. All right, I'm going to let you be your own bee, okay? Actually, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, worst. 
die. Die. Oh, you got a lot of health on him, don't you? Meaty, too. Our 11th bee is the chest bee. This one's simple. The chest bee is a flying chest. All you gotta do is spawn in a bee or get a bee near a chest and it will instantly consume the chest and turn into a chest bee. And if you right click him, you'll get a whole mess of goodies at any and all times. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Wow, you're hideous. I'm tempted to attack you. Atta attack. Get it. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess it's a chest, so I like. Oh, okay, never mind. He, he'll die. <laughs> Just gonna replay for good measure there. Yeah! He's my new favorite bee. He stores all my goodies. So you can either right click to get into the bee's contents, or as you saw, you can just kill the bee and get the contents that way. Number 12 is the lightning bee. You can get this bee by shocking one with a trident enchanted with channeling, which we'll do right now. First, we're gonna set the weather to thunder. Then we're gonna spawn in a whole bunch of bees so that there's no possible way uh, that I miss. With that, we're just gonna let her rip. Okay, any luck? Oh, jeez, I paused by, oh, well, they're all lightning bees. Oh, gosh, they're all angry with me. This is not what I wanted at all. Oh, no, please, guys. Take it easy on me, right? That's kind of funny. Eh. Now, any lightning bees that get close to flowers will instantly strike them, well, with lightning. And once they do that, it will literally turn those flowers into wither roses. Come on, get to the... What are you doing? Come on, come on down, come on down. Let's see it, let's see it. What's good? Yeah! Well, that killed them pretty fast, but look at that. We now have way better access. Oh, to wither roses. Dude, oh my gosh. This is a terrible idea. Please, don't don't kill me. Yeah, come on down, baby. Yeah, give me some more of those wither roses. Let's see. <laughs> That's the coolest. Oh, he's scary though. Seriously, can you stay away? Bad. Number 13 is the cyborg bee. That's right, robot bees. To make your very own cyborg bee pet, we need to first injure a regular old bee, which I know sounds very sad, very mean, but hey, it's part of the process. So get him a little angry at you, you know, do some damage to the poor guy, and then feed him some awesome redstone for some reason, and iron nuggets uh, for some reason. So come on down. Yeah, oh, you missed. You're supposed to... Maybe his health's not low. There we go. Yo, good. Oh, my gosh. Now, the process takes a little bit, but as you can see here, the bee will eventually turn into a cyborg form, which is, you know, it's, it's, I'm a little upset. <laughs> Yo, where are you going, dude? Yo, where are you going, dude? I don't have a lead on me. Where's he headed? Come on back. It's all good. You are mine now. Beautiful. Oh. Uh. Yo, he's headed straight for the flowers. <laughs> I figure as much, huh? He's got a heart of gold. Or er, iron. Now, if you're wondering what's happening here, it is the cyborg bee's job to lead you instantly to the nearest beehive, which is exactly what is happening here. So, with any luck, he brings us something nice and promising. He will occasionally take damage because he's just a stupid robot. You know, these things happen. Like, I anticipate some major damage right here. Oh, no, he changes mind. Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> Ooh, yo, he's on to something. Hey, look at that. He found it. It's right here. Check it out. We got ourselves a lovely little bee nest. Beautiful. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. Number 14 is the phantom bee. All you need for this is a phantom and a bee. When they touch each other, they turn into phantom bees. Now, phantom bees will literally steal flowers. So I'm going to let him find his flower of choice. And you can witness for yourself exactly what happens here. Y'all ready? Check it out. Oh, hilarious. Maybe he doesn't steal them. He it looks like he just destroys them. You know, which is equally, you know, terrible. You're a monster. Oh, gosh. So sad, guys. You get five likes. Yeah, that's all this one does. Behave yourself. I guess I'm going to kill it. Yeah. The final bee. The cookie bee. This one's quite simple. You need a stack of 64 cookies and a bee needs to touch it and it'll instantly eat them and become a cookie bee. <gasps> Look how fat and lovely he is. This bee will turn nearby flowers into cookie flowers wherever he roams. Yo, hurry up, I'm hungry. Yeah, get it, get it, yeah. Huh? What, you only make one? Look at you, that's it? Oh, okay, it just takes a little bit, I see. He was just pollinating it first and then it became one, okay. Couple things to note, you can kill the cookie bee and on death, the cookie bee will also drop some sugar to replace the food that it all got all hyped up on. But you can also eat the cookie flowers to gain two hunger bars. 
Nice. My friends, that's all 15 Bs. Let us know in the comment section which one was your favorite.